Hi, I'm Seth Rogen. I'm Rose Burr. And we have been told we must say the words we are spilling the E.T. You know, a little part of me died just there. <laughs> but I got it out. <laughs> this is our third time working together. She's a little flirt. Oh, uh, like her mom, I bet. Mm. Cool. It's all going by so fast, huh? Mm, it's crazy. Can you believe she said we were destructive? No! We're exactly the opposite. We are constructive. We're constructive. <laughs> are we the next Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan? Why do we work so well together? <laughs> <laughs> I maybe hope that you are not the next Meg Ryan, if I'm being 100% honest. Not in every way. She had, you know, but like, I think maybe yeah. she's chosen to maybe yeah. take a, a step back from filmmaking. That's right. That's and whereas right. I, I don't think, I hope People don't want to lose this gift, no, right? Never no, never want to lose this no. gift. I can only, that's we a huge role to live up to. Yeah. Can't be friends with a girl. There's lots of famous men and women friends. Laura Dern and Sam Neill in Jurassic Park. Seth and Rose played husband and wife in Neighbors 1 and 2. Now they're just friends in their new series, Platonic, streaming May 24th on Apple TV+. Plus. Think of this as a raunchy version of When Harry Met Sally. Our characters in Platonic are best friends with no benefits no, at all. At all. At all. Do you think it's actually possible for men and women to remain strictly platonic friends? And do you have many yourself? Of course, yes. You are a platonic friend of mine. <laughs> I have many platonic friends who are women and men. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I think, uh, yes, of course. Yeah. You're gonna be a weirdo to not yeah. <laughs> be able to be friends with someone. Oh, whoa. What? Will's getting a divorce. So call him. We literally haven't spoken to each other in years. Call him. That's what friends do. Your character is going through a really bad divorce in this. What's your worst breakup story? I know your worst breakup story. I got dumped on my birthday. <laughs> By you know who. Honestly. But yeah, I brought, I had, a, I, I was dating a woman and we went out on my birthday to a fancy restaurant and she broke up with me at the table and I started crying. <laughs> That's a real yeah, icing that on was the cake. a bummer. Okay. Okay, I got to dye your hair platinum blonde in the series, yes. which was amazing. What did your wife, Lauren, think of that look? And is it true that blondes do have more fun? And what is the craziest thing you did as a blonde? <laughs> Send me the invoice. It looked good and Lauren liked how it looked, but I think the subtext of a 40-year-old man <laughs> with bleached blonde hair is sad and so i think that was that's the conflict at play there is it, it looked good undeniable yeah. Yeah. everywhere i went it, i got compliments you did. it was a whole yeah like you get more I, attention. it looked better yeah fully. everyone yeah. was like you look better yeah. but i was like and then when i let it grow out and cut it off everyone was like i thought you were gonna keep it and i was like yeah. i can't keep it yeah. are you insane i'm 40. I literally did that when I was 50. I don't like feeling like the second most important man in your life. Hallmark Hunk. Luke McFarlane plays your husband. Hallmark Hunk. Hallmark I like that. Hunk. I, I love that. alliteration there. Which one of us was your favorite on screen husband? I mean, you're going to have to say oh, me. What am I, so that, what yeah, am I that, saying? This, putting a, this your is a party. question. Yeah. <laughs> you're setting me up for I know. failure. <laughs> I loved you both, but. Yeah. Oh, Oh, come on. on, what am I supposed to say? What are we saying here? And just so I'm clear, that's your defense. The defense rests. Have you ever lost a friend because you disliked their significant other, or is that something friends should take to the grave? This is a good cautionary tale. Where yeah. I had a friend uh, he, uh, oh. who was dating. They they broke up, and to make him feel better, I like was like, I'll be honest. She sucked and I never liked her. And I maybe said some specifically more disparaging things about her than that. And um, and then they got back together and we're all hanging did. out. Of and she's like, did. hey, Seth, I hear you didn't like me. Oh, no. And I literally turned to him and I'm like, what? You, you told her? Are you insane? Why did you do that? This is like the Brady Bunch. I know. Almost 10 years ago, we starred as husband and wife in the movie Neighbors. Which one of us do you think has changed the most in that time? Well, you. I, I got <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say you. 
Well, yeah. you were pregnant during the second neighbors with your first child. Yes. So you, and now you have eight, 18 children, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. And so yeah, your life has changed significantly. And I got back. Exactly. <laughs> you still got that uh, family of yours? You wanna see a photo? Wow, there they are. Cool. In Platonic, my character, Will, has zero interest in your kids. In real life, <laughs> would you ever let me babysit your kids to give you and Bobby a night out? Yes. yes. <laughs> Whoever wrote um, this probably doesn't have kids because course. the real truth, if you have kids, you'll give your kids to any <laughs> Take them. You, you, you can show them Goonies. Like you yeah, suggested I, yes, to me I, I, that yeah. you showed your nephews. And did they like it? They haven't seen it there yet. You go. Well, I will show them Goonies. I tricked two dogs already. They're in the back of my van. Your bridesmaids co-star Melissa McCarthy recently told E.T. she would never say no to a sequel. I would do anything with that group of women. There's just no way not to be like any day, any time. What about you? Would you ever return for Bridesmaids 2? Of course. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That'd be Come a great on. sequel. That would be so fun. But I get why you wouldn't want to do it also. It's a very good, you know, you don't want to... Uh, holds up that it's well, it's, it's hard to make something up as good as a comedy sequel. As people have made a comedy, and we worked so hard, and, and we like so just got it there. <laughs> and like it's, yeah, it, I, I'm it's very hard. proud of Neighbors too, but it was so hard, so hard. to make it. Yeah, it's kind of whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happening? It's part of their terms of service. They want uh, you to do it. Uh, Get it. Yeah. We go through some wild ish. That we go through some wild stuff in this series. What was the wildest thing that happened between takes? Oof. Well, we shot in uh, downtown Los Angeles a lot. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> it's a hot it spot. It was a hot spot. It was for insane. Insanity. It, it was is... funny, like doing light improvisational comedy <laughs> as literally there's like four people trying to murder one another, <laughs> <laughs> like, like 15 feet behind you, and you like hear it screaming, happening. Like <laughs> screaming, screaming, murder, we're sirens, just, we're and just we're just, trying just to like, we're just trying to yeah. riff here. We're just trying to. Have some I remember when I was on the, I was on the scooter once, and my start mark was in like a pile of 400 broken heroin needles. <laughs> <laughs> Making it out. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Okay, Judd Apatow recently revealed that the baby from Knocked Up is now 17. Yeah. We're talking about that. How old does that make you feel? Would you ever make a sequel where your teenage daughter gets knocked up and you and Catherine are grandparents? Oh, that was a pretty good idea for a sequel. There you go, that's a pitch. That is a that good a pitch. pitch. I like that pitch. Huh? If she could be 17 now, then that actually, whoa, that actually works. Was it a girl or boy? But... It was a girl, well, you know, knowing because it's Judd, we shot both versions. Oh, so it takes not. me, of Why? course we did. Because- well, what does the gender matter? Uh, we shot jokes for a daughter and a son. Uh, we, we, okay. you know, you gotta leave Sorry. your options of open course, in editing. Of <laughs> Provides different, <laughs> different angles. Yes. Gentlemen, it's a girl. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I remember there was a Fair version enough. where I came back from the delivery room and said to all my friends, "It's got a dick," and that was a big joke. And I remember fighting for the boy just because that joke <laughs> got sure. a big laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for spilling the. E.T. Spilling the E.T. Woo! Have a lovely afternoon! It's been fun. Rose got bangs. <laughs>